Um, well, you know, at first we was trying to decide on a lot of the classes what we need to take before the semester started. And so my daughter had come up to me and she was like, well, Dad, you know, maybe I think we ought to take a class together. And I was like, you know, that's fine. So we decided we started looking through some of the classes and stuff and see what was available. And because um, I had finished up a lot of my core classes, I just really was sitting on a, a few of my electives. So one of the class um, came up was about the uh, sign language. And I thought that, you know, that would be, you know, unique, something different, something, you know, outside of the Spanish and uh, French and German language time uh, thing. So, um so we got together and so we started taking the class, we scheduled and um, we got set up and then we, uh, we took it with uh, Miss Denise Hull. And you know, like I always say, um, I was always stressing about education and you know, um, getting your degree, uh, trying to get a higher education. And so, you know, it's one thing for me to sit there and preach it to them, but then I actually, I, by me not even having mine, you know, I could just sit back and say, you know what, I need, I need to get mine so that way they can actually see that I actually have mine, so therefore that they can actually get theirs. And, you know, as time went on, taking the classes and stuff, um, doing homework, we had to go home, and then we had to practice the different sign languages and stuff, and sometimes she'll pick up some things that I didn't get, and sometimes I'll pick up some things that she didn't get. And, you know, um, just learning together as, as one, and, you know, be able to um, complete the class and then sometimes we actually even had to uh, go out and do some deaf cultural events and stuff. So we had to actually go out together and went to the uh, South Carolina School of the Deaf and Blind or had to uh, do a dinner or um, we did like a cat in a hat presentation with the kids from deaf and blind and stuff. And so we basically did pretty much everything together. And so, you know, as we continue on, you know, we grew closer and closer together and um, you know, it led to now it's time for me to graduate, so I'm gonna have to end up leaving her behind. But you know, the experience that she learned, you know, by being with me and seeing that, you know, the work that I put in, so therefore, you know, she can just continue on and keep striving to be the best that she can be.